Um, Deanne, what about when they just ghost you? Um, two ways to go about it. Either you second voice it and you send somebody else in, so you tag it, which is very, very powerful. So get, get somebody else to go in there and say, um, hey Jack, I believe you were speaking to one of my colleagues, Deanne, recently uh, with, reg re with regards to reducing your energy consumption, saving you a little bit of money, is that right? Uh, yeah, okay, fantastic. Well, my job is just purely to make sure that Deanne was doing her job correctly, so um, from a quality control perspective. So how was she? Was she polite, was she courteous, was she knowledgeable, was she helpful? And what will happen on that phone call is all of the objections will come out, but the real ones. Now, I can either deal with them on that call, or I can hand it back to Deanne to go back in as well. If they're constantly dodging you and you can't get anything out of them, um, what I would do is give them more value. We talked about contents of value. Educate them, tag them on things on LinkedIn, send them Christmas gifts, go above and beyond. Because remember Deanne, the only reason they're ghosting you is because you haven't shown them enough value. Right? If they saw enough value, they would at least continue the conversation even if the time wasn't right financially. So it just means that they don't see enough value in what you have to offer. So you need to raise the level of value that you offer with you, your company, and your product. So you need to be sharing pieces of education about all three of those areas.